Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing the early access alpha of real-time strategy game AI War 2. Uh, this is the sequel to the asymmetric strategy game that came out a while ago, where it's uh, you against a whole bunch of uh, robots trying to vie for uh, control of the galaxy. Uh, so, like I said, the game is an alpha, so it's obviously not finished. Uh, most of the issues have to do with uh, the interface having to get cleaned up. Uh, so you'll see that as we go. Uh, I'm going to do a custom start. There are some quick start options which give you uh, kind of basic start options here. I imagine that they'll add more as development continues. Uh, but I do want to show off the custom options. Uh, so you can choose the number of planets that you want in your system. Uh, you can give it a random seed. Uh, and then choose what type of uh, galaxy you want to get, how the planets are linked, uh, how they're laid out. You can also customize all the different factions in here. Again, this is you know kind of placeholder stuff. You can have a bunch of different special factions here, uh, which are like uh, you know really big bosses that you can have going in here. And again, they'll probably expand on this as well. Uh, but I'll kind of keep this at the uh, the default here. I am going to pick one of the arcs. Uh, I don't really know which one that that is, but I'll choose that one anyway. And then you can kind of choose what type of AI. Uh, is primarily against you and then there's other two other factions and you can also customize it with more options here although uh, when you do the difficulty it goes off the screen so um, there's that uh, so I will give it uh, a name here there's also a couple basic options in there uh, and then we'll start the game alright so pause it while I get started so basically what you want to do is build a bunch of units go around and conquer basically the entire galaxy and eliminate uh, all the opposition that stands in your way. Uh, because of the macro scale of the game, uh, it tries to kind of automate a lot of stuff, uh, which is good. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, first, uh, this is a list of all the units that are in your area. I'm going to do uh, these scouts and kind of send them and try to find the easiest adjacent unit, I, uh, adjacent system I can go to. So I'm going to send that guy there and that guy there because I think I would rather go back that way. Uh, I'm going to click on my docks here and then you simply click on units and it will automatically build them. Now if you have a control group selected already, which I will unselect all those to do that, uh, you can control select it and then if you click this button it will automatically rally it to that group uh, and you can actually cycle through uh, them if you want. So I'm going to build units at all these guys. There is a population cap uh, that you will have to uh, worry about. So I'm going to have them queue all these up because I have enough resources when you start the game to do that and then I'll kind of stop it when I run out. Uh, there's a pop cap that is unlocked with more tech. So when you level up, say, this craft here, it un uh, unlocks a higher squad cap and also gives them better attributes, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to kind of research all these basic guys and I'll probably go for the assault. And... Uh, we'll do this one. Now it's kind of all my tech points. Uh, so they're going to keep building all that crap until I run out of uh, resources here, which is going to happen pretty quickly. So I'm going to kind of start slowing down a little bit. Because I'm about to run out of resources here. Mainly because I'm building the capital ships, but... Then when I run out of resources, I'm going to go attack stuff. All right, let me use my last couple to do some, uh, all my scouts. All right, that's enough. So that'll give me 2,000. Um, so let's uh, try to find my scouts amongst all the uh, ships in here. And I'm going to send them to basically all the adjacent systems. Just to kind of scout, haha, -ha, because they're scouts. Uh, what type of things are in there? So I know where I want to send my stuff. Uh, so this is my, you know, primary control group there. I do have 14 more <laughs> scouts here, so I can send them out. Just so I can see where where we're sitting. And you know, this is a little bit tedious uh, to kind of set up the game, but 
uh, it does give you valuable intelligence. All right, so what do we have here? Strength one, strength one. So I'm going to go after these two, uh, and then I'll actually probably double back into this area. So let's uh, select everybody. Oh, hey. And I am going to go to Narsh. Which is up here. So I'm going to order everybody to go up there. So there they go. There go my guys for some reason. Alright, and then if you hold down control, they'll all warp through the thing at the same time. And I kind of want them to spawn at the same time to maximize the effectiveness of what I'm uh, about to invade here. And there they go. Bloop. And then I click over here. And there they are. So all you have to do is kind of give them... You can give them move orders and they'll automatically attack. Or you can pick out specific units for them to attack. Uh, and the game is all about super huge uh, battles. So what I like to do is I like to target the turrets first, if possible. Basically the things that can shoot at me, of which there's one over there. So I'm going to kind of make my way over there. Yeah, go attack that thing. And that's the last turret I have in here, I think. Oh no, there's one over there. Yeah, there's grenade launch turret. Uh, so now that my money's back up, I'm going to go back to my home planet and start queuing up more ships. That will... Uh, and they'll automatically go to where my units are, which is pretty nifty. Go attack that stupid thing. So you see a lot of different stats for all the stuff in here. Uh, shields, hull, you know, the damage of their weapons and all that. Alright, so I'm going to wipe out things that can shoot me first. And then we will uh, worry about all these other, like, shield generators and guard posts. Which are not terribly important. Alright, let me go take this base out. And then I can make my own base. I can level something up almost in a little bit. Alright, so there's that. So I'm going to go back to my home world. I am going to build a colony ship. There it goes. Takes a very short amount of time. I'm actually also going to build a couple of engineers to help out. And I'm going to send all those guys to here. And then once they arrive, I'll be able to build a new uh, base, essentially. There it is. So I'm going to do an economic one because this is kind of the back portion of my empire. I'm going to take this scout and move him out. I think I should be able to kind of move up and around and then go that way. That's kind of my goal. Uh, now once uh, the AI progress goes up enough, you're going to start getting attacked, so you'll have to protect your wormholes with turrets and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, what do I want to spend my tech on? My engineers are here, but they're healing stuff. Uh, what do I want to spend it on, actually? I might actually upgrade my uh, turrets, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, so there's that. So, and then the they'll actually automatically uh, build up my metal... Uh, income here, so I'll be able to afford more ships. Uh, there's also uh, science on these planets, so I'm going to build a science lab. You can see there's 2,000 science. Most of the planets have 2,000 science, so that will extract science at a much faster rate. All right, so now let me just go after the next planet. So we're going to Limula. So that's basically this world. You can move actually move the science labs between worlds because you'll run out of science eventually. Go here. I said go there. So those engineers are going to help build that stuff. All 
Oh wait, that's right. The thing is actually attacking me. Go eliminate that. Yep, oh, I'm out of metal. Alright, there we go. I forgot I forgot that this thing was here. That's the last thing that's there though. <coughs> it's a pike guard post. I should be able to take it down pretty quickly. With all the units that I have now. Yeah, so I'm out of science there, so the only science I'm getting is from here. Alright, so that's everything, so I will move all my stuff. Engineers are help helping to heal. A lot I like the engineers a lot. Very useful. Fifteen hundred. And then I'm gonna go after the next planet. And that's basically it. So you just keep kinda moving and attacking more stuff and then you have to eventually defend uh you know your holdings because the AI will come after you. That's why it's useful to go kind of backwards away from the direction you think that they're going to come from. There it goes. So now we're going to go over here. And there we are. So let's go attack some turrets. So, like I said, I would pro I'll probably try to go up and around. Although this, you know, even that's twenty-two. That's not very much. Uh, there's my scout. Let me send him to a different system. Take that thing out. Go attack these. So I do like how they automatically attack if they come in range. Now sometimes they attack kind of dumb stuff. They'll go after like the shield. Uh, generators that have a huge amount of health and shielding instead of going after the ships that are actually shooting them. Uh, but in general, it's uh, it's not terrible. Alright, so I'm starting to gain more metal now so I can start... because I can afford way more ships. Yeah, there's a uh, schematic thing. <laughs> so I can reclaim that. <coughs> oh, there's some enemies over here. And then I'll go take care of those guys. Right, so let me grab those engineers, which are not really doing anything anymore. To help heal my stuff over in this area. Alright, so what is here? Four ships, which are all up here. So I'll take them out, and that's all I basically need. Alright, so I will actually queue up another colony ship and send it over here. And then as soon as the icon pops up, I'll build it. There it is. I'm going to do... Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't really need the energy right now. So we'll just do, do that. Hey, you. Go help with that. No, go help with that. They don't listen to me. Alright, is there anything left here? Just this guy? Alright, go attack that. Alright, let me build... I need a reclaim or builder thing. That should be able to claim that. If that's what that is. Oh uh, no, that's the wrong thing, sorry.
Alright, so I think that's everything here, right? No, they're still working on that stupid thing. They have like a million shield, which is ridiculous. Alright, my production's actually going okay. I'm almost down at the pop cap, but not quite. So, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go up that way, I think. Thing is still not dead. Now it's dead. All right, let's go to this guy, which is that. I'm actually gaining metal now, which is nice. Uh, anything I want to research? Let me. I mean, the ships are basically equivalent, so. Ooh, I can actually do... Ah, it's a hacker. That's... Well, it's just a swap. Yes, so, well, we'll see what that does. Uh, I don't know what I want to spend my research on yet, so I'm going to hold on to it for now, I think. Actually, I could I could upgrade my uh, arc. Alright, let's go. Should still be in pretty good shape. What's the enemy strength? Yeah, 22 to 9 is not a huge deal. Very well, sir. Oh, and there they come. They're going to start attacking my systems. But at least it gives you a warning. Uh, so where is that? Oh, my home planet. Where are they coming from? Stalk, walk, walk. Over here. Alright, so... It's only point nine, so... I can probably just... Uh, build a bunch of turrets around there and should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine, actually. <laughs> Stupid engineers are helping out with uh, building the ships instead of this. How are you guys doing, by the way? Yeah, this should be pretty easy to cap. Again, the, uh, the shielding stuff just takes forever to eliminate because they have, like, 500,000. I'm on it. Not a metal. Yeah, go build the rest of those, please. Yeah, it was just because I was building all that stuff at once. Alright, so this is actually pretty good to go, so let me build another. Call any ship. And let me grab these engineers. And they're ready to go. I'll do a logistical one here. Almost at the pop cap, too. Once I cap this thing, it won't be an issue, I don't think. Enemy incursion on border Ready missiles. Where's the other stuff? Oh, way over here.
Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. That's just them, like, moving around. So what's my... Yeah, see, my I have a strength of four, so that's not going to be an issue. Alright, so this is going up. Probably build another science thing. Actually... Actually, I'm out of science on here, so... Where's my science guy? There he is. Go over there. So he'll slowly move over to go over to this planet. Alright, and this is the last thing. Now there's a little eyeball thing, wherever the hell that is. Where is that at? Oh, way over there. Alright. How about you guys go take that out? My metal's back. So, I should be able to build the rest of my queue. Because there's not very many ships left, so. Until I research, which I can do right kind of now. So, that gives me a lot more ships. And that's basically, you know, the pattern. These are all twos, which is not uh, too terrible, to be honest. All right, so we're this is that's it. So this is ready to go. So let me go after these guys. That's twenty. I have twenty-eight to twenty-three. I actually should probably just go here, to be honest, and then go after. And go after this one next. <coughs> Destroy everything. Gives you these little optional objectives if you want, but you know. It's got sixty six more planets. So it gives you a little intermediate stuff in case you don't know what to do. Yeah, I have a lot of resources now. I'm actually in pretty good shape. The only thing I'm fighting up against is the pop cap, which, uh, yeah, there's my science thing. Uh, which is basically controlled by science. So you have to, you know, it's the game kind of forcing you to capture more planets. Alright, so this planet is ready to take over. So all that's left of this are these shield things. So, time for another uh, colony ship. And a couple engineers. Alright. 
some all those guys here. There they go. Uh, let's do a military one here. Doesn't really matter. I think I'm at my cap, if I had to guess. Yep, I built everything. I don't know, the sentry one. Doesn't really interest me too much. So I'm really just waiting for tech to unlock more stuff. So... What do I want? I did the pike. There we go. So that's going to unlock a whole bunch more of those. Like 50 more or whatever. And there will be higher level. Is that everything here? No, nope, there's two of these guys. Uh, yeah, there are the other ones down there. We'll watch the this attack here when it comes in in a minute. And these shields are like ridiculously large. Go attack that and then we'll move on to the next planet. You know, like I said, this will be plenty to cover cover this. And then I have all these engineers here who will help out with uh, repairing if need be. So these guys actually should be... Yep, they are done. So... Ah, uh, 23, probably really big. Also 23, 37, I have 35. So I guess we can go after this one, or we could push here. That's only three. Actually, I might push this way. This area I probably will have to uh, guard after, so I think I'm going to actually... Well, here's, here's all that. Actually, we'll probably go here and go after that. So I'm going to take everybody, go here. So this won't be an issue. They're just going to obliterate all these guys, I would think. So. Here comes everybody. And that was it. So. Now it's all about gathering s enough science to unlock more stuff. Which means taking more planets. Uh, which I will do going that way. So like I said, this this path is a little bit higher, although I am going to anticipate there's going to be some AI people to come after these planets. Uh, this one's way more important, so I might actually start turreting up this area. They come in either of those directions. And actually, I might research some turrets if I can. Because I am anticipating bad things happening. Yeah, so we'll do this one right now. Level up. Alright, so. You guys ready to go? Let's go. So their science is done up here. So I think they have a lab. They do. So I'm going to move him here. Hey guys. So overall, uh, the game, you know, the the base of the game is very solid. Uh, I will say, uh, it is pretty enjoyable to play. There's obviously some rough edges with the interface. Selecting ships and stuff is a little bit more difficult uh, than it should be. You know, you should be able to group select a little bit easier sometimes because the stuff flips through it. Or selecting individual ships, but it, you know that's all stuff that they would clean up uh, before the game comes out. 
next year is the plan anyway. <coughs> ah, so they're going after this thing. Well, let's build some turrets, shall we? Yeah, so that should be pretty decent, actually. All right, so that is done. So I will build my colony ship and a couple of engineers. And I will send them here. All right, so what's left? These stupid things again. All right, let's build a military. The one million dollar sh or one million power shield. It takes a while to get rid of. You know, I'll be honest, I don't really remember very much from the original AI work because it came out so long ago. Uh, actually, yeah, go after this thing. They seem to be spawning people. The guard post. Um, so I can't really speak to how different this is as opposed to um, you know the first iteration of the game uh, but it is enjoyable and I do like it I kind of vaguely remember it yeah that was a good choice doing that military thing they're gonna fire on those ships uh, let's build the science thing and grab science from this planet alright so what's left here just this All right, so we're accumulating more science. Uh, these are all level twos, uh, so I'd probably just go or in order here, take these two out, and then see what the rest of the galaxy has in store. Uh, this is a pretty good, pretty good start. You know, ba basically, you just have to make sure you kind of go in the right order. Uh, you defend your back systems because that'll really destroy your economy, uh, and then just go after systems that uh, you know have less strength than you. Right now, I have thirty-five. So, I could go after the 24. This one's probably, the 4s are probably too big. That's way too big. I don't want to go after the 5 right now. But I could go after these two and get more science and then level up my ships and have more ships. And that's basically the pattern for it. Um, so, I'll be interested to see how this, uh, you know, pans out later. There's multiplayer in the game. Uh, and like I said, they'll uh, add more content, you would assume, clean up the interface uh, and stuff like that. So, uh, from the looks of things, you know, the very solid base is here. So I think fans of the original AI were, uh, won't be disappointed in uh, what's contained in the sequel here. Uh, and it should prove to be a pretty uh, good update to the original title uh, when it comes out. Uh, that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.